Hey y'all, it's Krista. Um, so I haven't done one of these in a while and you know, I have big canvases and uh, might as well use them, right? So today I'm gonna do a wing pour and I have quite a few colors that I'm using. So I'll get my husband to get us down to the canvas and we'll get started. So what I am using today is Amsterdam in the bluish green or the greenish blue sorry and turquoise blue bronze ultramarine titanium white and in the titanium white, I added some iridescent pearl fine by Golden. And then I also have an Amsterdam ink in the green in the turquoise green. That's this one right here. And of course, I'm using 24K. And I love this color, Deep Sapphire. Um this one's been hard to find, so I'm lucky that I was able to find it. So I'm gonna layer up my big cup, and because it's a 15 by 30, I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top. Um, so let's get started. Let's, uh, let's start with the turquoise green. And then I think I'll put gold on top of that. Then I'll lock it in with the white. And I'll do the deep sapphire. And then I will put the turquoise blue. Then I'll put in the bronze. And then I'll lock that in with the white. And I'll use a greenish blue. I'm gonna put a pretty heavy dose in there of that. And then I'll put the aquamarine on top of that. And I'll go into the 24K again. Lock that in with the white. And I'll use the turquoise green. And I'm gonna put a heavy layer of that on in there this time. Put some deep sapphire on top of that. Not that much. And then I'll put the bronze. And the ultramarine. And then the turquoise blue. And 24K. And lock it in. The greenish blue or bluish green. I always say it wrong. But you know what I mean. It's green, it's blue, it's all over the place. So I'm done with that color. Um, let's put some bronze on top of that. And 
set these cups aside. I think I'll end it with white. And my cup is super full now. So I'll set all these aside. And we will prop this canvas up. Look at all these leftovers I have. Wee, I love it. Come up with something cool later with them. Set this aside. We're gonna prop this canvas up. And put my gloves on because these always make a really big mess. But you know what? They're so pretty and it, it's worth it at the end for the big mess. Okay, with my little popsicle stick that I'm gonna use to torch. And let me push this in a little bit, okay? All right, we're gonna start up here at the top and just let it slide down. All right, let's go. And I'm jiggling it back and forth. Sometimes, sometimes it's just straight. Doing a quick little jiggle every once in a while helps spread them out, give them a little bit of definition. Squeezing my cup a little tighter now so that I can get finer detail up here. Because when the paint starts coming out slow, it starts to get kind of wonky. All right, I'm gonna tip the cup back and then I'm just gonna take it off the edge because I'm gonna slide it off of there anyways. I'm gonna tilt it. All right, <clears throat> so this is cool, I'm digging all that. I'm going to put flow extender around it. So it has something to slide on. It's still sliding. Okay, that should be enough. If it's not, I have more. Well, I'm getting great cells. I'm gonna try torching it while it's still sliding. All it's doing is making more bubbles as it's sliding because it's stretching out and showing the layers underneath. Keep an eye at my bottom, make sure I don't slide off the canvas. There are a lot of bubbles in here. My paint sat for a long time. Okay, I'm gonna take it off the cup and we are going to tilt this. So I'm gonna actually make it go all the way down, but I only want the white to go over and then I'm gonna bring it back. And then since the weight of my paint is down here, I'm going to take it off that side while I'm there.
And then I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna take my paint down this way. And then I'm gonna take it this way. I'm gonna bring it back. And then I'm gonna go back down this way a little bit, get the weight of my paint down here. And then I'm gonna go off this side. And then I'm gonna bring it back. And then I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see what I'm doing. Without getting paint all over my carpet. All right, and I'm gonna pull it down this way. I'm trying to open up these wings so uh, You know what? I think I want to put some flow extender up here because I really don't want to lose what's going on here. Okay. Rather have too much paint than not enough, right? All right. We made it, and I'm going to bring it back. I'm kind of digging this negative space, but I don't know if I want to keep it. See what happens when I stretch these wings out over here. Do I not leave it? No, I don't think I want to leave it. I think I'm going to stretch it. Let's bring it down this way. All right, and then I'm going to bring it back. Pull it back this way. And bring it down this way. Let's see if I can get that to stretch out. My dog is over here pacing, and I don't know why she's pacing, because she just got her cookie. My paint is moving super slow, but I've heard that when it's cold, paint tends to do that. So. It's really cold here. It's like 20 degrees. Okay, I'm almost at that corner and I definitely spread these wings out. I'm loving this much more than I did two or three minutes ago. Oh, 
Okay. Did I make it? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to bring it back. And then I'm going to leave it alone. Because it's kind of cool. Turn my corners here. I'm gonna trip over my dog when I go to bring y'all down for a close up. She is literally right there. Scoop up and feed it on. Scoop up and feed it on over here. Am I doing a good job? Did I get it? Yep, I did. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Then we will come down for the close-up. And I'm gonna walk this way because she's right there. Okay. See? <laughs> Crazy dog. Okay. All right, y'all. They're very cool wings. Got some nice pebbles cells going on in there. I like the ripple that's going down the middle with the cells popping up in it. This is the middle of the painting that I'm showing you right now. And then I'll come back and show you the bottom. I don't know what these white cells are. Curious. I'm wondering if it has anything to do with the uh, iridescent gold fine or whether it had something to do with my pillow paint. But, all right, y'all. Here she is. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.